My palms are so sweaty right now. Today's movie is Apollo 13. I have a fun story about this movie. I have convinced myself over and over and over again that I have seen this movie. And every time I think about it, I say, yeah, there's that really heartwarming scene where Robert Duvall is reading Moby Dick to the guy who loses his vision. And it's the sweetest little movie. And then I look at the cast of Apollo 13 and I think, well, no, I don't think I saw Tom Hanks. <laughs> and then I realize I've never seen Apollo 13. And that movie is something else entirely. <laughs> but today we are going to right our wrongs. I'm very excited. I love a good space movie. Space in general is one of those really fun things where you don't have to expand beyond reality. And yet all of it seems so impossible. The concept of space is impossible to my head. If I start thinking about it too much, I, <laughs> I will spiral. But you get a little bit of everything. You can have romance, but you can have drama. You can have insane tension. You can have tragedy. You can have excitement and adventure. And you get science. It's like the perfect storm of a setting. And I am very excited for the adventure. Let's get into it. Thank you for being a friend. You know if it starts off with a star like this, it's probably going to be sad. Apollo 1 pre-launch test, Cape Kennedy, Florida, January 27th, 1967. The most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. Yes. And after that sudden fire on the launch pad killed American astronauts, there were serious doubts that we could beat the... It's really sad. 1969, Houston, Texas. Now, the important thing when you're penetrating the lunar module is your <laughs> Let's say this is me here. Oh, Bill Paxton. It's like no other feeling in the world. <laughs> I'd fall for an astronaut, baby. Ed Harris, this cast is stacked. All right. Jim Lovell. Hi. This is Tracy. How do you do that? First ones around the moon. This guy did 10 laps. This is the last champagne in the... I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna, I can like, you know when a movie gives you the vibe that it's gonna make you cry? All I can feel right now. Wouldn't mind being up there tonight. God, who would? You know, my cousin called, uh -huh. asked who we bribed to get on Jim Lovell's crew. They wanted to make sure he got the best. <laughs> They're fighting about which news program, that's funny. There for, that's there for Jim Lovell, Kim <laughs> Is this true story stuff? I don't know enough, I'm sorry. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Can you imagine? Can you fucking imagine? It's still crazy to me. Armstrong is on the moon. Yeah, Neil Armstrong. Now. I'm already teary. Like, it's so cool. One small step for man. <laughs> One giant leap for mankind. Damn, he wants to be there, huh? It's such a, like, common concept that, like, people are just in space. The moon. Sure, we can go there if we want. It's crazy. I can't deal with cleaning up. Let's sell the house. All right. Let's <laughs> Me uh, every now. day. <laughs> From now on, we live in a world where man has walked on the moon. In Apollo 8, we were so close. Oh, he's sad because he was close. I'm going to go back there. Where's my mountain? That's the sea of tranquility. Mountain's right there on the edge of that. Your mountain, Maryland. Mountain, Maryland. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. When are you going up again, Jim? Slated to be the commander of Apollo 14 sometime late next year. If you had the money, you know how like there's a whole thing about just like rich people just going yeah. into space if they feel oh, like it. Nice. If you had the money, would you? I don't think I have it. I don't even like being in an airplane. I think if I were in space, my brain would explode. Uh, Jim, can I have a minute? Something's come up. Oh shit, are we going to space? Hey! Are we going to space? You can't just drop that news off to your wife like it's nothing though. You know that Easter vacation trip we had planned? Thinking uh, there might be a slight change in destination. He's so excited and not even like stopping to think about how this is going to affect his family. The moon. <gasps> oh, they're happy for him. All right. I'd be sad, probably. That's selfish, isn't it? Great to the head of the line in the Frau Mora Islands. You're moving up six months? They're not rushing things, are they? I mean, you're gonna be ready in six months? I gotta get over there. We're gonna have to get up to speed on this. Aw, uh, she's a good wife. Why 13? 
It comes after 12, huh? I wish that I knew <laughs> enough or had a good enough memory to know what happens with Apollo 13. Manned spacecraft center, Houston, Texas, three months prior to launch. Let's see what he does with this one. I lost something here. I can't translate off. Just back off and take another run at this. No, no, I got it. I got it. 20. 10 feet. I'm stressed, and this is just a practice run. Capture. That's <laughs> it. Sweet move, Ken. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> but it wasn't perfect. Used up too much fuel. Uh, these feel like tidbits of knowledge that are going to be important later on. Really think we should work it again. Well, let's get it right. Oh, sorry, backup crew. Okay, I wonder how hard it would be to be the backup crew. Because you'd want, obviously, you want to go. I'm sorry, what the fuck is happening? Besides everyone dying? Oh, a nightmare. It's a nightmare. It's, everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. Oh, it's his wife's nightmare. Girl, down. that's how I'd be sleeping too. How long will it take you to get to the moon? Four days. There's this really, really tragic Ray Bradbury short story about a ship in space that has already exploded. And so astronauts are just traveling through space and you kind of get to see from their different points of view and they can talk on the radios while they're still in range and then eventually they are too far away. So they're just alone floating in space. Like you can't, you can't do anything about it. That's how you die, floating until you're dead. That's so scary. Did you know the astronauts on the fire? Yeah, yeah, I did. I knew the astronauts in the fire. Oh, he's worried about you. What happened again? Oh. A lot of things went wrong. It's called the hatch. They couldn't get it open when they needed to get out. Did they fix it? Oh yes, absolutely. I'm nervous that they didn't fix it. Even if that's fixed, there's still a million and one things that can go wrong. You're in space. <laughs> okay, we can't, we can't read into the signs. The car not starting is not an indicator that the spaceship is gonna blow up and he's gonna die. I'm thinking about not going to the launch. Oh. Marilyn's scared to watch you die, Jim. I just don't think I can go through all that. I'll just be glad when this one's over. I know I said I would fall for an astronaut and I, I probably would. I don't think that I would actually have what it would take to be an astronaut's wife. Being okay with being alone for that long, having to hide all of the fears of all of the worst case scenarios because you can't like trouble your husband with that or you could but like for what it's just gonna make things harder for him and for you i don't know that i i don't know that i could do it so nothing but love for her number 13 doesn't bother you only if it's a friday phil four days prior to launch as long as it takes to get uh, to the moon that's crazy so does it bother you that the public regards this flight as routine i think that an astronaut's last mission now that's that's always going to be very special. Oh. The best ship with the best crew, and I'll be walking in a place where there's 400 degrees difference between sunlight and shadow. I can't imagine uh, ever topping that. Very fair. Very fair points. Also, we love a man who appreciates his wife to that extent to be like, you know what? This is my last adventure. <laughs> Where's Ed Harris? Charlie Duke has the measles. We've all been exposed to it. Oh. You, you want to break up my crew two days before the launch? Ooh, that's scary. Jack Swigert has been out of the loop for weeks. He's a fine pilot, but when was the last time he was in a simulator? We can either scrub Mattingly and go with Swigert, or we can bump all three of you. Well, no. Option one it is. Jim, if you hold out for Ken, you will not be on Apollo 13. Let it ring. Because I'm on the backup crew, Swigert. You're not the backup crew anymore, baby. Congrats, Kevin Bacon. You've made it. <laughs> oh. I had a feeling when they started doing all the blood tests. Oh, it's their ass if I get sick up there, but I mean, Jesus. I can't imagine training that long, that hard for something as crazy and like once in a lifetime opportunity is going to the moon. Especially because, yeah, the amount of time that you spend training is with the, a crew. Part of the training is understanding each other as much as the machinery. Trajectory is holding steady. We're right on the line. Ooh, is he going to fuck up this test run? I got a car to light. We're coming in too shallow. I'm going to manual. We're coming in too steep. We're at eight G's. Ten. Well, geez, we're running up.
Yes, that's exactly what's going to happen. Great. So our fate is in this man's hands and he just failed the simulation. What do we do now? We have like two days before we have to leave. Jim, could we have a word? I get that this is stressful. I get that this is not the news that you wanted, but you better start believing in each other because eventually you're going to be in space and it's just going to be you three. Well, we have two days. We'll be ready. Let's do it again. Do it again. Yeah, what are the options again? Well, I'd like to see a launch. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Not giving your mom a hard time, are you? Oh, she came. Well, hey, that looks like Marilyn Lovell. <laughs> They're so cute. Stop. I heard it was going to be a hell of a show. Now, who told you that? Some guy I know. <laughs> you can't live without me. I'm in love with them. They're so cute. You're about Cam. It's too early to cry. It's too early. Nothing that serious has even happened. Get it together. Ooh, April 11th, 1970. <laughs> Space is not for me. I'll keep my feet happily on the ground. <gasps> okay, well, now maybe that is a bad sign. It's so cool, though. It is so cool. I'm this crazy mix of just like awe and horror. <laughs> You're not just about to pop, are you? No. Because like, how cool is it that you're getting dressed up to go into outer space to go walk on the moon? But also, you might die at any second. I don't. I don't. Wouldn't even want to be that high in the air. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mission control. Is this where Ed Harris is? I've been waiting for him. From your wife, Jean. Oh, handsome. What, does he have a thing about like special vests for launches? Is Jean, this Jean, this magical Jean that we just saw, is that Ed Harris? I hope so. I like wanna cry. I fucking, ooh, I love that man. Apollo 13 flight controllers, give me a go, no go for launch. So Gene is mission control command, you know, like the top. Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch. <laughs> T minus 60 seconds and counting. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. God, can you imagine watching the spaceship that you were meant to be on? 14. I want to cry now. What the f I don't know what it's the space movies they get to me. Come on. God, it'd be cool to be in love with somebody on a spaceship though, wouldn't it? Like you'd be like, that's that's my guy. <laughs> he going to the moon. Like, I know it's supposed to work that way, but no, thank you. You did it, boys. You in space. Yes, this is 13. We've got a center engine cut off. Shut up. Find out what's that going to do to us. It better be nothing. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know what's... Abort. Abort. <laughs> we'll be all right as long as we don't lose another one. So we're just going to burn those remaining engines. Roger that. Our gimbals are good. These people know way more about all this shit than I do, so I guess... Okay. What are all these different pieces that they go... Like, let go of? What is that about? I understand that, like, part of it's to help them get to space, but I didn't realize they, like, shed so many pieces. Okay, guys. We're going to the moon. Don't throw... Don't... Oh. Fred, are you okay? Just a little bit of air sickness. He doesn't have measles, does he? I don't know the symptoms of measles, but like... Okay, Swigert, command module pilot. They just keep saying goodbye to more and more parts. That's crazy. And pitching up. Roger, Jack. Swigert can't dock this thing. We don't have a mission. Why? So they shed a piece and then they have to dock to it? I don't... Maybe I... 100 feet. Yeah, don't worry, guys. 
Don't watch me. You're just putting a lot of pressure on me. Everything is riding on my shoulders about whether or not I can do this, but like, maybe don't stare at me. <laughs> 20. Cool. Come on, rookie. Park that thing. Caption. Fit. Talk back is Barbara Paul. We have a hard doc. Roger, understand. Yeah, Good deal, Jack. Good job, Jack. Now you're off to the Frommar Highlands. We is that the thing they the, use uh, to land on the moon? Is that what's happening? <laughs> This might be just so far out of the realm of my understanding, and I think that it probably is. But do they take the bottom part that's used to land on the moon up with them, but because of some reason or another, they can't have it attached the way that it is to land on the moon. So they have to release it and then dock and then pull that part out and then take it to the moon to land. Is that? Am I close? Am I hot or am I cold? I don't know. Okay, uh, good evening, uh, America. We have a pretty good show in store for you tonight. If I were in this situation, I'd be living at the command center. I'd want to know every update every second. Hello, <laughs> All the networks dumped us. What? The sun's supposed to be on. <gasps> That will make me cry immediately. S turn that off. That damn TV guide again. Not the old lady not being able to see her grandson in space, please. Also, what's wrong with people? What do you mean you're not excited? Aquarius isn't much bigger than a couple of telephone booths. A layer is of tin foil, and that's all that protects us from the vacuum of space. Okay, let's stop talking about it like that. I don't like it. <laughs> the crew of the Apollo 13 and everyone back on Earth, uh, a pleasant evening. This doesn't end in sadness, does it? Because I'm getting the like feeling that it's going to, and I can't handle that. Rolling right, zero, six, zero. Give your oxygen tanks a stir. What? <gasps> Are they not gonna have enough? Are they not gonna have enough oxygen? What the? What did you do? I wouldn't be able to do this because I wouldn't be able to keep my cool. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. That's got to be one of the most popular lines from film of all time, right? Like one of the... There's no repress valve. Maybe it's a quad We've got a computer reset. We've got multiple caution and warning, Houston. We've got a reset, restart. It's a lot of machinery that I do not understand. But what do you mean? Like, re like we just rebooting? Turn it off and turn it back on? That's our answer for the spaceship? Ecom, is this an instrumentation problem or are we looking at real power loss? Let's get that hat button. The limb might have been hit by a meteor. Yep. There doesn't sound like instrumentation to me. We've been hit by a meteor. We'd be dead by now signal strength it's on the high fighting me what's the story here Jack? i don't have the stress control i i just don't i listen i'm switching over quad c to main a ac plus one ac what do we what 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 does he know that i low high well, i don't i don't we are venting something out into space their oxygen you can see it outside of window one right now a gas of some sort it's got to be the oxygen Oh, what would you tell them? Give me an alarm. Okay, okay let's, let's everybody think into a four levels. I love that moment of silence of realization that they are losing oxygen and then the immediate everybody to work. Everybody fix the problem. Figure it out. What do we do? I love it. Quiet down. Quiet down. Anything you say, Ed Harris. Wake up anybody you need. Get them in here. We are going around the room now. We're going to get you some answers. Take a look at the O2 on number one. 200 pounds and falling. Do, okay. Are they able to turn around to go back home? What have we got on a spacecraft that's good? I'll get back to you, Jane. Or do they have to go to the moon to use the like gravitational pull or some shit to like be able to turn back around and go home? Flight, I recommend we uh, shut down the reactant valves. Of the what the hell good is that going to do? If that's where the leak is, we can isolate it. You close them, you can't open them again. You can't land on the moon with one healthy fuel cell. From my chair here, this is the last option. The mission is no longer about landing on the moon. It's about getting back home alive. Terrifying and heartbreaking. Capcom, let's have them close the reactant valves. Are you saying you want the whole smash? Shutting down the fuel cells. Did I hear you right? Yeah, they know exactly what that means. We think that closing the react valves may stop the leak. And they won't be able to land on the moon. Did he copy that? Do you copy, Jim? Yes, Houston, we copy. We just lost the moon. Ugh. Okay, Fredo, shut those down. Oh. This doesn't work. Gotta have enough power left to get home. God damn. Shit. 
But how long does it take to power up the limb? Three hours by the checklist. We don't have that much time. 15 minutes of oxygen, and that's it. The command module will be dead. What? Okay, we gotta transfer all control data over to the limb. This is a lot. This is a lot, and it, like... Down immediately. Uh, gonna... You've gotta get the guidance program transferred, or you're not gonna be able to navigate up there. Don't, shut, don't fucking say that to me. Don't you dare tell me that if I don't move fast enough, I won't be able to steer. I won't even know which way they're pointed. Now I have about 12 minutes to power up. I can't. 12 minutes? Man, there's a lot of debris floating around out there. I'm gonna need your gimbal angles, Jack! Uh, about eight minutes remaining. Reminder to never I've send me into space, because uh, I couldn't handle any of this. Okay, the roll cal angle is minus two. Correction, pitch, one, six, seven, point, seven, eight. Stand by, we're checking it. The people that do this shit are so smart. It's all right. Good here? He's good, Andy. The it's pressure? York, isn't it? Shouldn't we be broadcasting this? Uh, I talk, uh, um, don't, 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 uh. The Apollo 13 spacecraft has lost all electrical power, also losing breathing oxygen. You mean there's no immediate danger? I, I just heard they're losing oxygen. It's not immediate, though. They got, like, 15 minutes. <laughs> Our RCS isn't up here yet. We have no attitude control. Don't have control? Did we miss a step here? Oh, Christ almighty. It's like flying with a dead elven on our back. Aquarius, watch that middle gimbal. We don't want you tumbling off in space. You hear the obvious? I got the frappin' eight ball right in Andy, front of me. Andy, we're on Fox. <laughs> you have a hot mic. We're reading everything you say. Marilyn? I'm sorry, Jeffrey's calling for you. I'm simply not taking phone calls unless it is an update about my husband. Otherwise, no one speak to me. I'm, Jeffrey? I guess if it's our son, whatever. This might make me cry, actually. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Something broke on your daddy's space. Oh no. And he's gonna have to turn around before he even gets to the moon. Is it the door? Oh, stop. Stop, 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 stop. That'll make me cry. Don't. Do we know for sure that we can power this thing back up? Uh, we'll just have to deal with that later. But will we be able to deal with it later? Is the thing? Lunar module now in control. Wow, that'd be so this scary. It'd be so dark and cold and quiet. And he's probably regretting being called from the backup. This moment on, we are improvising a new mission. How do we get our people home? We turn around, straight back, yes. direct abort. No, no, no. Oh, no, sir. We get them on a free return trajectory. Use the moon's gravity, slingshot them around. Hey, I at least knew that much. We don't even know if the Odyssey's engine's even working. We're talking about time, not whether or not these guys are there are too many big brains in the kitchen. We get the guys around the moon. We'll fire up the LEM engine. We can't make any guarantees. We designed the LEM to land on the moon. So the thing they're and using the to problem. get back home is the thing they were supposed to okay, use to okay. land on the moon? I mean, thank God they're all, like, super geniuses. You and Buzz is old neighborhood. Coming up on Mount Maryland. <laughs> Take a look at this. I've seen it. That's heartbreak. So what, uh, he didn't want to see Mount Marilyn because he was supposed to be on the moon so that it would have been more heartbreaking for him to see the moon up close like that because he's that close to getting his dream of being on it. And so he just would rather not. I could see our landing site. That's so sad. <laughs> Look at that Tsiolkovsky crater. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, I just can't even... It was supposed to be them. That's so sad. This is just making me sad. Like, I don't like the whole kind of broken dreams that this is. Nautical miles. Stand by for your PC plus. But now it's putting Earth into perspective for him. Family, we're close. Gentlemen. What are your intentions? I'd like to go home. Power is everything. What do you mean? Without it, they don't talk to us. Okay. Give me your point. Give me your point. With everything on, the LEM draws 60 amps. 16 hours, the batteries are dead, not 45. And so is the crew. We got to get them down to 12 amps. And then we finish the burn, we'll power down the LEM. All right. I mean, yeah, is there a better idea floating around the room? Because so far, you get us halfway back home, and that's not very good. <laughs> we never lost an American in space. We're sure as hell not going to lose one on my watch. 
Failure is not an option. The way that I love him. <laughs> I love him more and more every time I see him. I'm trying to get in touch with you for 45 minutes. We need you. Get you in the simulators. We got to ship the land. <gasps> what? Oh, so he's going to be incredibly important to the saving of Apollo 13. So far, the ship he was supposed to be on. We got a lot of people working the numbers on this one, Ken. It's, it's sure tragic, but also there. very poetic. Did this manometer rise over 20 at any point? Power up is no good. We got to get started on some shortcuts for power up. Yeah, you know how short? Let's skip whatever we don't absolutely need. Mmm, that's very smart. I need the sim cold and dark. Give me the exact same conditions. What a fucking badass. We have a situation brewing with the carbon dioxide. Oh god, it is uh, never yeah, ending. Anything over 15 and you get impaired judgment blackouts. Tell me this isn't a government operation. Well, I suggest you gentlemen invent a way to put a square peg in a round hole. <laughs> to make this fit into the hole for this. Y'all work for NASA. You're the smartest of the smartest. Or at least that is my hope. <laughs> he said goal. <laughs> they called up with a reentry plane. Oh, we're working on something, Jack. Just hold on. That's right. We're going to skip right out of the atmosphere and we're never going to get back. What? Yeah. Houston says we're right on the money. And what if they had made a mistake? There's no reason for them to tell us. You mean they're not okay, we don't need to add paranoia to the mix. Oh, he could be right, but like, let's not <laughs> theorize about whether or not they don't care. Ow! God! Hey! This piece of shit's gonna get you all. That's because that's the only thing we got left. Whoa! Whoa. Stop. Now, what are you saying? For this isn't Jack's fault. All I did was stir those tanks. Oh. This is not my fault! I don't want to say it is. Well, yes, he is. <laughs> Just asked you what the gauge is reading. All right, we're not. And you don't. Stop it. So we're not gonna go bouncing off the walls. We're just gonna end up right back here with the same problem. Keep them in line, Jim, no, because this is <laughs> this is not looking good for us. Uh, yeah, Jim, uh, could you check your CO2? Uh, yeah, Houston, we were just looking at- Oh no, 15 is when things start going bad. Yeah, we were expecting that. Well, that's very comforting to know, Houston. Uh, what do we do about it? Do you copy? Uh, <laughs> we copy, but like- I only figured it for two people. Oh, now look who's the wrong one. Sis, that's what they gotta make. Well, I hope you got the procedures for me right here. Oh, they figured out how to block the hole? I mean, that's something. Listen, we gotta take whatever breadcrumbs we can get because <laughs> this is dire. Rip the cover off the flight plan. With pleasure. Two lithium hydroxide canisters. A roll of gray tape. LCG bag, two LCG. This is part of why I love space movies because I am not a science girly. It is so far over my head, but I love watching people that like get it. <laughs> work through things no and just be right like, look at how smart I am. Are there any videos of NASA scientists doing the egg drop game? And the problem is if anything more goes wrong, they're in real trouble. I don't know what else could possibly go wrong besides like the ship exploding. <laughs> Everything's already really seemed to happen. It's gone bad to bad to badder to badder to badder to baddest. I can hear him. Houston, the CO2 level has dropped. Oh. And it is still falling. Yes. That is good to hear, Aquarius. It is good to hear. It is good to hear because this has been an hour and a half of just like torture. <laughs> the overload is. The sequence was wrong. We'll just have to go back and try them one at a time. You need a break, Ken? If they don't get one, I don't get one. Oh, what a hero. My son's supposed to be on. Please? Oh, right, this is Jim's mom. I was going to see Jimmy. Stop, I will cry, I will cry. There's been an accident. Jimmy's what? okay, but he's not going to get to walk on the moon. Well, they said he was. Oh, stop, that'll make me fucking sob. I can't... Do we have to tell her? Now there's been an explosion. But now they're just going to try to figure out a way to get them no. home. We're danger. all crying, okay? Please. Oh, shit. Are you scared? Grandma, say something good, please. Well, don't you worry, honey. If they could get a washing machine to fly, my Jimmy could land it. Okay, Grandma, thank you. <laughs> they were like, are you okay over there watching this movie? Are you stressed out because we've thrown curveball after curveball of bad things in your direction? Let me give you a little old woman. <laughs> it's just 
rip your heart out. Tell them they have to sleep. Another request from the flight surgeon that uh, you fellas get some more sleep. Let's see how he feels about this. I do not fault him for that, I'm sorry. Flight, I just lost level. Uh, Jim, we just had a dropout on your biomed. I'm not wearing my biomed sensors, Houston. <laughs> Can you blame him? The last thing I would want to hear is just, can you take a nap, please? <laughs> Have at it, boys. Now I'm losing all three of them. I'm sure the guys are still with us. Day six. Gene, it, it's not the velocity, it's the angle. They're definitely shallowing again. At this rate, they nick the Earth's atmosphere and bounce off into space. Another bomb. Fire the engines and get them on course. I think I would rather just hope I'll be home within the next 24 hours and I'll eat something then. Trying to hash something out down here, Aquarius. And all we need to hold attitude is one fixed point in space. Well, Houston, we've got one. All I have to know is how long do we need to burn the engine? Once again, this all feels like too much information for my brain to process. So they're gonna aim at Earth. They're too steep, they'll incinerate. If they're too shallow, they'll ricochet off the atmosphere. Never mind. the news reporter got has our back. He said, we're all too stupid to follow the science. Let me layman's terms this for you. Crew would have to hit a target no thicker than this piece of paper. Sorry. Oh, Kevin Bacon. If it lights, it lights. The level do the rest. Oh, is Jim going to fly it? I feel like that makes sense considering <laughs> he's experienced and Jack is, from what they seem to say, a rookie about this. Mark, come on, baby. My palms are so sweaty right now. Oh, let's just go. Oh, my God. Dragon. They're gonna have to aim that fucking floppy ass thing for something that's thinner than a piece of paper? 15 seconds. They're like one of those gas station guys. Like, what the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. Shit, I'm losing it! Where is it? Oh, I don't, I don't think I would be able to listen to it. I... A little more, come, come on, on baby. That's it. Hold it, hold on. Steady. Nine. Shut down! They did it? They did what they wanted to do? Houston, we have shut down. It's close enough, Jim. Oh, okay. We're evaluating our power usage on that burn. All right, we, we still don't know if it's really good news, though. Fantastic. Because what I need is to be more stressed. <laughs> Giving our guys enough to survive till re-entry. Now we gotta get them in. They're gonna need all these systems. We do not have the power, Can Let's start from scratch. Ugh, he's gonna find it. I cannot sit through through this stressful ass movie if it's gonna end in tragedy right we we sure could use the re-entry procedure up here when can we expect that yeah once uh, we figure out if we have one you're gonna get the procedure up to us whatever it is we're gonna go over it step by step jim this is deep they don't know how to do it can you imagine how tragic it would be to be stuck oh, in this situation the and the hundreds of phd <laughs> brains in this room can't quite figure out how to get you back home Sequence looks good. We're just over budget on the amperage. Come on, what is it? What's what's the hidden thing? Come on. They have some power left in the limb batteries, right? Reverse the flow and see if we can draw these four amps. I want whatever you guys got on these power procedures. You gotta get some up to these guys. They're working on it now. God damn it! I don't want another estimate. Tell him, Ed. He rooting for our team on the ground level. I love him. <laughs> Ken, is your computer on now? Up and running. How do we look? It's gonna work. I think we got it, buddy. For the love of everything, I'm definitely anticipating a successful return to Earth because I have to. Are the flowers blooming in Houston? I don't have the measles. <laughs> Fuck you, doctor. But also, I think it's good fortune that you're on the ground because you managed to figure all this shit out for us. Doctor. And then, oh, I stop it. Blanche, these nice young men are going to watch the television. This is Neil Armstrong and this is Buzz. Oh, that's going to set me over too. the edge. These nice gentlemen. <laughs> I'm having trouble reading my own writing, I guess. Don't worry, Jack. I'll talk you through it. Find the main bus breakers on panel 11. This is our moment. We're still shallowing up a bit in the reentry corridor. Now, how can they be underweight? We didn't land on the moon. Well, you gotta get the weight right. We were expecting you to be toting a couple hundred pounds of moon rock. Where do you want me to get a couple hundred pounds from? Main B, closed. Master alarm, off. Who I'd be sweating to? I'm, my, I'm like doing this. <laughs> Come on. CMRCS pressure. Go 
ahead and try it. Come on. We got it? Uplink completed. We got it? I'm having a hard time getting excited. I feel like something's gonna go wrong again. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's start Take a look at your hand. Boy, I wish you were here to see it. I'll bet you do. <laughs> Way to go, Jack. Oh, sweet. Typhoon warning on the edge of the prime recovery. Say again, Retro? I didn't have Typhoon on my bingo card. We have service module jettison. There it is. I see it. One whole side of the spacecraft is missing. Wow. That's what they were That's running with the whole time? Here. That's Can crazy. That? The heat shield. They don't have a heat shield? The chutes may not open at all, causing the spacecraft to hit the water with a suicidal 300. You okay? I can't handle more. Please, please land. Can you hold out just a little longer? As long as I have to. Yes, you're making it back. We're right at the end. We're not giving up now. We're not stopping now. There's been too much. I can't take anymore. Sorry, Jack. This is an old habit. She's yours to fly. Oh, Jim. What is that? Oh, I was didn't want to cut the limb loose with you guys still in it. We have lunar module jettison. Very well, Aquarius. We thank you. Oh, I never thought I would tear up over like a lunar landing device. When will we know? They're not back in four. We'll know. Four minutes. Can I last that long? The worst disaster NASA's ever experienced. With all due respect, sir, I believe this is going to be our finest hour. I'm just going to go on the record saying that Gene is my favorite character. Am I wrong? No. Three, five seconds to entry interface. Gentlemen, it's been a privilege flying with you. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I'm so stressed out. I'm so stressed out. <laughs> The fucking bravery. I like I I don't know that I could contain the fear. Like, like you just might blow up at any second. Standing by for any reports. No re-entering ship has ever taken longer than three minutes for the heat shield hole. Stop listing off all of the things that could go wrong. That's three minutes. We are standing by for acquisition. And it could take up to four, Honestly, right? Honestly, this is Houston. Do you read? We're about to learn whether or not that heat shield... I can't do the grandma. I can't do the fucking grandma right now, please. This is Houston. Do you read me? Honestly, Houston. Do you read me? I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. Like, shut it off then. Shut it off then. I can't. That's four minutes. Standing by. That's four minutes? That was the time limit, right? If they're not back in four, then we'll know. Odyssey, uh, Houston, do you read? <laughs> oh, thank the... Oh, Houston, it's Odyssey. Uh... Good to see you again. <laughs> the draw the tension for that one huh and the music and seeing everybody cheer Ooh. <laughs> oh gene thank god <laughs> show me the grandma you can't only show me thank you can't only show me her when i need to cry this is apollo 13 signing off <laughs> Fred Hayes was going back to the moon on Apollo 18, but his mission was canceled because of budget cuts. Oh. Nor did Jack Swigert, elected to Congress from the state of Colorado, but he died of cancer before he was able to take office. Ken Mattingly orbited the moon as <laughs> command module pilot of Apollo 16, having never gotten the measles. <laughs> Gene Kranz retired as director of flight operations just not long ago. And as for me, Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I watched other men walk on the moon, all from the confines of mission control. I sometimes catch myself looking up at the moon, thinking of the thousands of people who worked to bring the three of us home. That's very sweet. Also very sad. Why did some of them have such tragic endings? Like poor Jack, poor Fred. Ugh. I need to pull myself together. I am not okay right now. <laughs> I told you, I told you. The space movies just get to me. They, they have all of the elements you could possibly want. That was such a good movie. <laughs> I'm glad that I finally convinced myself that I hadn't actually seen it. <laughs> Ooh, because it would be a shame to be in love with space movies and not have seen that ever. Though I am convinced we only got the grandma just for the tear duct factory works. It worked, don't get me wrong, but like, ouchie. Just see those 